Greetings to all. Desire that everyone is doing well. I am coming with a public announcement, collective announcement, um, about some suspicious energy. Um, I picked this, got this download in my dream state, and I was just about to do my cancer um, energy read for the seat of the soul. And I had a revelations of the download, so I proceeded, and now I came to do Leo, and that didn't happen. They stopped me right in my tracks and said that I need to speak about this. Um, the suspicious energy um, that's lurking around is within the dream space, within our travels. So I want to say that it is very important that we protect ourselves at night before we go to bed and to also protect our children in more than one way. Um, because this is where a lot of the psychic attacks are taking place. Um, and for those that say, I don't dream, anymore or I don't recall my dreams you're even more in a dangerous um, open vulnerable space um, and this is even more why it's important for you to have more than one way of protecting yourself when you go to rest and also you know you can put a bubble around of positive high vibrational love you know, around your aura, around your astral body, your etheric body, your celestial body, your spirit, and all of that. Your physical, your mental, and your emotional. Um, all of those areas really need to be covered. Especially the ones, all of them. I'm just going to say all of them, period. Um, because these wannabes that are trying to have domination over a lot of things of the material um, the material realms as well as the material bodies of the people or the souls of the people um, are really um, coming to a time of short <laughs> and they know this so they're really going and seeking to see who is vulnerable or in an open space um, within their, you know, an open, unprotected space while they're sleeping, resting. Um, and this is what the suspicious energy is. It is really to, um, how can I explain? Inside of the dreams states, there's contracts that are being made. There's soul contracts that are being made that a lot of us are not even aware are taking place. And I can say this because of the dream travel that I had that was in regards to some people that were actually trying to buy me out of my votes and basically were coming to offer me some type of material abundance that starts in the etheric realm and then come to a manifest so a lot of us do not know why our children are behaving the way that they are being a little indifferent um, why certain things are taking place around you. Um, this is mainly because of the suspicious energies that are moving around in your dream space. And when you're, when you don't remember or you don't dream anymore, you're still traveling. Your astral body is still leaving out of your physical body. Your spirit is leaving out and it's going somewhere. You just have no recollection of it. So, some things that you can do to implement protection. You can make your own black salt, put it around your windows, your doors, the corners, around your bed, 
under your bed, the children's as well. A lot of the collective should already have their black obsidian and their selenites under their pillows. Find a way to make it safe for the babies, the children, to have selenite and black obsidian as well. Um, you can also make a protective um, dream sash that you put underneath the pillows or hang at your bed post on your bed post however that may look for you you can also use um, things like echinacea flowers um, marigold flowers rosemary basil um, cinnamon sticks under your pillows as well or underneath of your beds as well you can also have a glass bowl where you take a half a half of lemon and you put the cloves in the four um, the four corners and inside the glass bowl the half of lemon with the cloves in it you're going to put salt around around it and you're going to go counterclockwise when you put the salt in there to move the negative energy away from you um, and of course everything that you do you set your intentions in it um, know that this is a, a I don't want to say a loop well I guess a loophole may just be a loophole okay and why a lot of things are happening and we cannot explain what's happening and I felt that it was my duty to bring forth this message so this is Mama Soul Lily also known as Grandma Spider, signing out. Ashe. I was derobing myself, and I want to say, do make sure you share this and hit that like button. Get this through, you know, for those that are vulnerable, your loved ones, and things of that nature, um, be, that are truly not aware of how they're actually being attacked within their dreams and how they're actually being soul snatched, you know, in their sleep. And this is it. I'll share.